What's going on YouTube? Gias right here. So in today's video we're going to discuss about the iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 11.4 jailbreaking and whether you should stay on iOS 11.4 or iOS 11.4.1 if you're already there, especially since iOS 12 jailbreak exploits have been announced. Anyways, if you go ahead and hear on Yumang's Twitter, Yumang is part of the Electra team. He found a bug for the uh, remount in the Electra for the iOS 11.3.1. He posted just a few days ago a demo of an iOS 12.1 break that he actually made for his own use with his own exploit but yesterday he posted quote just to reiterate do not upgrade to iOS 12 if you want to jailbreak anytime soon iOS 11.x even iOS 11.4 is fine so if you go ahead and hear this is actually a trend that seems to be part of the community Saikusa said back on November 6 quote friendly reminder that iOS 12 brings new hardening and is a lot less likely to be publicly jailbroken than 11.4.1 so for the moment we have two different accounts saying iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 11.4 are a better idea than iOS 12 but if you go ahead and hear Sparky the developer behind the Meridian jailbreak for iOS 10.3.3 and lower said quote if you are not currently jailbroken and want one, stay on iOS 11. If you are on iOS 11.4.x, stay, do not update to iOS 12. And he continues with the fact that iOS 11, even 4.1, 11.4.1 1, that is, already has multiple jailbreak and kernel vulnerabilities publicly disclosed. iOS 12 has none and will not have any for months. They're essential for jailbreak. iOS 12 has potentially new security features which have not yet been bypassed. iOS 11 has been fully pwned. He also says, quote, there are very, very few times in jailbreak history where a jailbreak has been released for a new major iOS version before it has been done for an old one. There is just basic logic. Again, it's likely to be a 6 plus month wait before you see a jailbreak for the iOS 12, assuming the best. Don't update. So this pretty much should make it very, very clear that if you're running iOS 11.4.1 and 11.4, you should not update, even though people like Sorry My Bad and Umang have already uh, posted things about iOS 12.1 jailbreaks, iOS 12.1 exploits coming and so on. And yes, Sorry My Bad will be releasing his exploit for the iOS 12.1, which allowed him to jailbreak at Tianfu Cup. So this is going to be a very major thing for the iOS 12 users. You're not all doomed. But if you're running iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 11.4, which by the way are no longer signed at this point, you cannot downgrade to them, then it's a very good idea to stay on iOS 11.4.1 and 11.4 because this is what the entire developer community says on iOS. Definitely stay there. If you already updated, it's not a major thing. There will be a jailbreak for the iOS 12, that's for sure. And there are already exploits piling up in here too. There has been one for the WebKit that has been released by Kunima. And there is going to be this one by Sorry My Bad, which is actually a kernel exploit. So definitely usable for a jailbreak. And it has been indeed used for a jailbreak at Tainfu Cup by uh, Sorry My Bad. If you're running 11.4.1, it's still better to stay on the 11.4.1 or 11.4. So I really hope this video clears up the confusion because I got a lot of questions from people asking me whether they should update or whether they should go directly to iOS 12, 12.1. 12.0.1. No, the answer is no. Do not update yet if you're running 11.4 or 11.4.1 because chances are you're going to get a jailbreak first. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. I'm Gio Snow. Until the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.